You are modeling the weather to either be bad or good. You call this W, then the weather can be bad or good. You encode this with numbers and you see it's a Bernoulli distribution with a certain parameter theta. And you know the probability mass function. But how do you sample it? How do you create a data set with bad and good weather? Welcome to this video where we're going to sample the Bernoulli distribution. Hi, welcome to this new video. I will first give an introduction on in how to do the sampling for the Bernoulli in general or in theory, and then we will implement this in Python. Okay, let us start with what sampling actually is. So sampling is the process of going from a random variable to a random variate. And they sound quite similar, but they are different. So the random variable is what we looked at with the weather. So a variable that can either take two values or is some sort of randomized. And the random variate is an instantiation of those random variables. For instance, if we observe the weather and it is bad or good. So it is an instantiation. And usually we also differentiate between the two by using a capital letter for the random variable and a lowercase letter for the random variable. So this is a capital letter and that's a lowercase letter. Surely my handwriting is not always the best, but I try to keep it as consistent as possible. And I want to show you how to do this by the help of an example. And we will look at a theta value of 0 0.7, so 70% chance of good weather. So now we have to find a way in order to create samples that are on average 70% good weather. So of course you could maybe start like and take an array and only take the first 70% of the entries to be one for good weather and the others to zero. Well, this is probably an approach, but it's not really sampling because um, each sample should appear with a probability of 70%, not just it's averaged over a data set. And for this, you need some source of randomness. And this source of randomness is probably a science for itself. But in the computer, you usually resort to uniform random number generators. Generators. And they work as following. So the computer provides you with a random number that is in a certain interval. And this number is as random as it can get. So you maybe have the following. So you have another random variable, let's call this x. And here you have its probability density function. So it's a continuous random variable, no longer discrete as we have it for the weather. And it is, for instance, defined between 0.0 and 1.0. And it's defined that if the probability density function is like this, so it's uniform. So each sample here is equally likely. So Let's call this equally likely. And if you sample this uniform distribution, then the computer will return to you values that are in this interval. And they are a set as good as random as possible in the best case. And now you can make the following. You can draw some sort of like a slice here because um, the mass that is beyond the curve is one. So you can split the mass into 70% for good weather and 30% for bad weather. So you kind of draw a boundary here at 7, 0 0.7. And you say all the values that lie in the range from 0 0.0 to 0 0.7, they are associated with good weather. and all the random variables that are in the, or random variates that are in the other, they are associated with bad weather. And then you can also make this a little more formal. So if you have a Bernoulli distribution with a certain parameter theta, and you want to distribute random variates, so the lowercase letter, then they are given as following as one, so as good weather, if another random variate is smaller equal the theta value, or zero if the random variate is bigger than the theta value. And this random variate x is distributed according to a uniform distribution with in the interval from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. And we can look at an example with our 
beta value of 0.7. So for instance, let's assume we are drawing a data set in X, so for the uniform distribution, and let's say it is given as 0 0.3, 0 0.9, 0 0.75, 0 0.4, and 0 0.7. Then we can transform this into a data set on W for the weather, and for this here we have, yeah, it's smaller than our theta of 0 0.7. So here we would have a 1. This is larger than 0 0.7, so it's a 0. This is also larger, it's a 0. This is smaller, it's a 1. And here we are at the boundary, and we decided that we are associating the boundary with good weather, so in this case it would also be a 1. And then we have a sample, or like a sample set, a data set, associated with the weather. Let's look at how we could do this in Python. I'm in an interactive Python session with NumPy loaded, and NumPy provides us with a function in order to get the uniformly distributed values, and it's called rand, and with this we are getting the value from 0, 0.0 to 1.0, and it's changing every time we call it. And we can also query more than one sample, so we can, for instance, create a data set, and we call this data set x, and for this, we are sampling this uniform distribution 10 times. And then let's define a theta at 0 0.7. And we can also, of course, also look at the data set. And we see, well, according to our um, way of doing this, there would be bad, good weather, bad weather, and so on and so forth. And now we have to implement the way of transforming our data set of the uniform distribution to the Bernoulli distribution. And we do this as follows. So we say the data set X is smaller equal to uh, 0 0.7. And in NumPy, this means a component-wise comparison. And we see we have a true, false, true, 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 and so on. Actually, only one time is a bad weather. And this is now encoded as a Boolean. And in order to get this as an integer, so we cast it. And so we use data set X smaller equal 0 0.7, or, or theta in the case and use s type and cast it into an integer and then we see well this is the same just as the encoding that we used and here we have a sample set and we can create a function that essentially does the same i will call the sample bernoulli and it takes a theta and the number of samples that you want to query and it will return the numpy random generator um, with and sample uniformly sampled random variates and it has to be smaller or equal to theta and then we cast this into a numpy int and we can get call it for instance with our 0 0.7 again and let's say 10 samples and then we are getting this and the idea of this random variates is that the return is random that we get so if we execute a function again then we are getting different outcomes and of course, we can also increase the numbers and get more. This is the end for the video on how to sample the Bernoulli distribution. Here you see similar videos and you have the chance to subscribe to this awesome channel. See you next time.